Hey guys, Tim Nick here, Spec Technologies. Just want to show you this week's build. We have a uh, very nice 16 by 7, 7 foot tall, 7,000 GVW tandem axle trailer. It is uh, 16 feet on the floor with an additional 2 feet in the V nose. That's where our compressor sits up there. Uh, we'll give you a quick uh, walkthrough on this trailer. As you'll see here on the right, we've got uh, 150 foot of hose. You'll notice uh, our scuff jacket, we do not use that cheap braided scuff jacket that you'll find on many of the competitors brands. This is a uh, fabric which is much like denim used in industrial applications. Um, as this ages and as you dra drag it around, it will actually get thicker as the fibers break down. Uh, we've had uh, real good success with these hoses. This is a uh, 2250 PSI hose that has a four times burst rating. And you'll see here we put a couple stainless steel whips on the end of it. That makes the gun very flexible. Once the gun's on here, you'll see that this is just very easy to whip around and get into tight spaces. This foot, 150-foot uh, hose, is hanging on a custom-built steel rack that we manufacture. This is powder-coated blue. has a nice little pop in the trailer, a little pop of color. And what we've done here, uh, this customer asked for the ability to switch between open cell and closed cell. So we did a little double valving system here so he could choose either open cell or closed cell. Of course, he's going to need two pumps to accomplish that. We've given him two B-side pumps. You'll see each pump has pressure gauges on it so we know exactly how much pressure is coming to the machine. And this, of course, uh, these pumps are run by air. They're pneumatic pumps, two to one. If you give them 100 pounds of air pressure, they should give you roughly 200 pounds of fluid pressure. These are brand new pumps for us. We manufacture these in Buffalo. They have a uh, huge amount of volume capacity. You'll see, unlike the IPMs, this entire cylinder, uh, blue anodized cylinder at the bottom, is what uh, holds the fluid coming out of the drum pump. So that's a nice long stroke, quite a bit of material, and this is great for supplying material to the machines. Speaking of machines, here is our Revolution Machinery. 5.7, the 5 stands for a 5 inch air motor, 7 stands for 7,000 watts of heat. Let me do a little closer view of this machine. A lot of times I skip this. We'll go through piece by piece. Um, here is an off, on off button. You'll see that light up once you turn the master switch on down here. With your incoming power, turns that light on up top. And then these breakers, as you turn them on, will illuminate each individual light and we have an individual controller for each heat center of this unit. So you have ISO heat, you have hose heat, and you have resin heat. Um, and these digital controllers, you set these for whatever your target temperature needs to be and down the road you go. On off switch that runs the air motor which sits right here this unit will self-park, which means at the end of the day, if I put it to the off position and either relieve some pressure with the hose or provide the unit with more air, it will park in the down position, which puts the seal and the shaft back down in the fluid out of the air and the contaminants. We have a mechanical stroke counter. So every up and down stroke is considered one stroke. So when the machine goes up and down, that is one stroke. Here you'll see we have a couple valves that allow you to shut off any fluid coming out of the machine to the hoses. We really only use these if we're going to replace the hoses or we need to take them off for some sort of service. The yellow line is an air line uh, which goes all the way through the hose, all the way down to the gun. The gun is a pneumatic triggered gun um, and it's also an air purge so you need to have air down at the end of the hose to do that. The purple wire is called a thermocoupler wire, TSU, and that actually reads the temperature of this hose all the way at the end of the hose so I know exactly what the temperature is 
uh, at the end of the hose. That signal is sent back to the machine and that purple wire tells this controller in the middle when to turn the heaters on and off for the hose heat. Very simple process, not computerized, just a relay and breaker system. As we look down this machine, you'll see in the center we have installed on the red part your incoming voltage and on the lower green part an amperage gauge to let you know how much amperage is going down this hose, down these thick cover wires that heats the hose. Inside the hose is a braided heater that heats up with the voltage supplied by a transformer that's in this base of this unit. This year we've doubled the size of the base of that unit. The upper section is all of the fluid section of this machine. The bottom section is all of the hose heat section and some relays and breakers. You notice everything that we do is color coded. The drum pumps are blue. We have the resin side on the machine which is blue. ISO side is red. The handles are the same. Blue handle for resin, red handle for ISO. All of your switches and gauges you'll see all match. Even internally the wiring. All of the wiring for the ISO is in red. All of the wiring for the resin is in blue. This just makes it a lot easier if you call us with a maintenance issue or a technical issue. We can actually walk you down these wires and you can see exactly uh, what needs to be fixed or replaced once we diagnose the problem. The side of the machine we hardwire a disconnect box. It has a disconnect breaker in there that you can pull loose if you need to service the machine. Quick look on the back of the machine. Again, you'll notice everything is color coded. The ISO pump is red. The resin pump is blue. Handles match. Even up top here, everything seems to match. This is a 5 inch Parker air motor. This develops uh, what we market as 2000 PSI. We test these machines before they leave here and on occasion we run them up to 2800, 2900 pounds. This is our reversing system. It is a pneumatic operated reversing system. What's nice about this is that you can actually cycle this machine without having to have any electric only air provided by your air compressor. You'll see here on the side that we've tested this. Jacob has put his initials to it saying that everything checks out. We have no leaks. He's run all the heaters. He's run all of the air systems. Uh, he's purged this hose and he's made sure that this machine is ready to As be put we move in to the front of the rig you'll see within uh, quick reach we have a fire extinguisher that you can reach from outside the door so you don't have to jump in here to grab it. We have a first aid kit and an eye wash station. Please check with your local authorities and or OSHA to make sure that these comply uh, to your type of work and the area that you're working in. You'll see here we have a 35 CFM Max Air Compressor. Uh, has a Honda motor on it. Very dependable motor, 30 gallon tank, and this is a single stage. And if you look here closely at these pump heads, they are exactly the same size pump head. This machine quickly uh, has a good recovery as far as filling this tank back up as you're working in the field. So this air comes all the way up and over and comes down into our 35 CFM refrigerated air dryer. You can see how we come into the machine. We use a regulator, come into the machine, three-quarter inch hose. We have a distribution uh, pipe that comes out of the side of the machine. It's still three-quarter. We break this down to half inch for the machine, three-eighths for each drum pump. You notice here that Jacob has color-coded these so he can make sure they're going to the right location in the trailer and it's much easier for you to identify if you have any issues. Again, these come down, 3 8 lines. You'll see over here our red ISO drum. And we touched on briefly earlier that on the other side of the trailer we have two drum pumps. One is for half pound, the other is for closed cell. But they share the same ISO. So as the uh, contractor is progressing, he's going to have to keep an eye on his ISO 
make sure you switch that out because that is the same ISO for both half pound and two pound. This rig on the electric side is run by a Generac 17,500 watt generator. Um, you know they tend to be a little cheap you know they're about twenty seven hundred dollars but they've been dependable we've uh, probably got a couple hundred of these out in service and I would say we've got five or six of them maybe really had to go back to the service center um, and most of my contractors you know have used these in spray rigs and construction sites and uh, seem to be pleased with them so what we've done here is we have this generator that uh, if you follow the power cord goes into a breaker box and what we've done is inside we've put breakers individually for the generator coming in and one ten shore power coming in so what this allows us to do is that if we don't have a generator running and we want to run our lights uh, we put that on a separate breaker but it's on a lockout so I can turn one on and you'll see the other one has to shut off so we can't turn the generator and the shore power on at the same time and risk electrocuting somebody on the other side we have a breaker for the air dryer and a separate breaker for lights and outlets we've pre-wired this trailer if the customer wants to get uh, thermal plates later which we manufacture those are digitally controlled heat plates that during the winter months if you want to uh, set your drums on those and set them temperature for uh, 65, 75, 80 degrees, whatever you want to preheat your drums you can do that and that would be a great addition to this trailer so it's already pre-wired on both sides um, for the addition of thermoplates. We've also provided a two-man fresh air respirator system this is a full face respirator mask it is positive pressure provided by a hundred foot of hose. Uh, these hoses hook to a air pump that you set out in the clean fresh air and uh, it supplies your masks with clean fresh breathing air uh, in confined spaces or areas that you uh, should not be breathing spray foam particulates floating around in the air. So um, what we do with these we actually spray the lens with a mold release that allows you as you're working uh, simply with your fingertip just to wipe any foam over spray off the lens reapply a quick little shot of mold release and go right back to work so this is it guys this is our standard uh, 16 foot by 7 foot wide trailer a uh, couple uh, nice little bells and whistles here You'll see here again he's got the double uh, incoming resin pumps, one for a uh, half pound, the other for two pound closed cell or whatever he wants to run through it. We've set up a nice little valving system here so he can choose one or the other, which then supplies the machine with material. We've got our Revolution 5.7 machine, 2,000 psi of pressure, 7,000 watts of heat, great for the uh, residential, commercial, insulator and also anybody wanting to do uh, light commercial roofing and uh, roof insulation or tank insulation it's backed up by a 35 CFM Honda driven gas compressor 17,500 watt gas generator 35 CFM refrigerated air dryer You'll notice we uh, manufacture these stands that fit perfectly for these air dryers. Wanted to get them up off the ground. The compressor is uh, exhausted through the floor. And normally this generator, if you want to leave it here, we strongly recommend putting a shop fan where we're standing at the passenger's door and blow the heat and the exhaust from this thing out that three foot by four foot door regulator we uh, added lights for this gentleman and again we are a dual power system you can either run off the generator or we can run our lights and our outlets off of 110 incoming shore power which in the winter if it's cold and you purchase the heat plates 
you just need to plug into 110 and that'll keep your heat plates nice and warm. Alright guys, here's one more quick closing uh, view of this trailer. You'll see here, uh, this does include a Graco Fusion AP spray gun, uh, air purge with uh, everything you need in that to, to make that spray. The uh, toolbox we provide in this brown box is the pump for the fresh air system, respirator system. Again, you'll see here we have a 110 volt cord coming in, which is right now powering our lights and any future expectations for uh, heat plates. I um, have 150 foot of hose on this side of the trailer on a custom manufactured powder coated uh, hose rack. A pair of drum pumps, one is for half pound, the other is for two pound. Ran this into a nice little valving system so the customer can choose uh, which foam he wants to have coming into the machine. On the other side you'll notice uh, only a single pump, that is because the ISO uh, stays the same even if you change from half pound to two pound foam. This entire rig is run by a uh, 17,500 watt Generac gas generator. Again that goes back to the breaker box which then allows us to turn these units on. This is a 35 CFM refrigerated air dryer on a custom made stand that we manufacture for this dryer gets it up off the ground, keeps it clean. You'll see we have a manual regulator, distribution area for all the airlines coming out going to the miscellaneous pieces of equipment, a Honda driven 35 CFM gas compressor bolted to the floor. You'll see there in the corner that it's actually exhausted through the floor. Hanging on the wall is our two respirator systems, 100 foot of hose for each man. These are full face respirators. Uh, that you will coat with uh, mold release to keep the foam from sticking to the lens. A first aid kit, eye wash station, and an easily accessible fire extinguisher that you can reach from right outside the door. Again, our machine we put here right at the door so you can access the uh, screens, any sort of maintenance that you need to do on this machine. Back cover if you got to get into there any service on these pumps that you might need to do. You'll see our Parker 5 inch air motor sits on top. That's how we generate pressure. The console for the trailer has all of the controls which I think we talked about earlier in the video. And again the two pumps, airlines, valving system and 150 foot of hose on a rack. I want to talk for just a second about the construction of this trailer this is uh, 16 feet on the floor in the square box part, plus a two-foot V-nose up front where the compressor sits. We have these built with a seven-foot interior, LED lighting, 7,000 GVW axles. And you'll notice here we have a three-foot by four-foot door for the generator. If you so choose, you can roll that out. If you want to run it there, we strongly recommend that you put a shop fan over there on that side of the trailer and blow this heat and this exhaust out of the side of the trailer. It does keep it considerably cooler. You notice something here that uh, not a lot of trailer manufacturers do. This edge of this panel has a hem on it, a little kick on it, which keeps that panel nice and tight to the preceding panel as they overlay them. So if you look down the side of this trailer, you don't see any gaping gaps where the fasteners are positioned. That's just one of the things that we look at when we're ordering trailers and talking to the manufacturers that build them. Um, nice door, it's got a heavy latch on it. You're going to put a lock on it. End of the day. Stone guard on the front. This is a manual crank front end. And a 2 and 5 16 ball hitch hold back for the door so when the wind's blowing it doesn't slam in your face. Got a nice recessed handle on this trailer. These have been great trailers manufactured by Covered Wagon. Our customer optioned to get some uh, ladder racks put on top, scaffold racks. So they're going to be putting some scaffolding up top. But uh, you know, here's your access on the side. Everything's here. You can check your compressor as it's running, your generator, 
access to the machine, rear panel, very easily. Nice place to sit while you're working. And uh, this is just a real workhorse. This is our meat and potatoes type trailer. We build these every week. Uh, probably have 60 of these a year out on the road. Feel free to call us. My name's Tim Nick, number 770-274-9888. Thanks for hanging out.